What is going on today? Bit of a different position. Well, there's a big black thing on the floor. That's because I've just sprayed it. I didn't realise that it didn't come sprayed. My own stupid fault. Did say on the website. Did have a bit of a rant to myself when it arrived and it was bare metal. But it does state on the website that it comes bare for use of spray. So, we have bought a rear wheel hanger from Williams. And I must say, this thing is a fine bit of British engineering. Wonderful! Amazing! I just didn't realise it didn't come painted, which bummed me out a bit. I had to go and buy spray paint, which is not a problem. Took two minutes. Right, there is fitting instructions on the website, but just send a bit of paper, a bit of A4 paper, out with the brackets. For the idiots out there, the stupid people, the likes of me, who doesn't know stuff. Because I'm not a professional, I'm just winging it, we're just having a go. Anyway, right, yes, it doesn't come with any fitting instructions, but there are fitting instructions on the website. It does say on the website that you do need to do some modifications. The modifications are... That this crossbar here, if you have doors that fold onto the side of the van like me, this crossbar here, you've got to cut it. So we need to cut it in an angle going across like that. Then we need to pull both sides out and then cut them down on the top and on the bottom as well. Because there's two. I don't like angle grinders because they just, I just don't like them. They scare the shit out of me. They're just horrible, nasty, They're like razor blades. Just don't like them, just... No. Neil says no. I'm gonna try this one first and see if it works. Might work, it might not. We'll see. Give it a go. Can only fail. Once you've got it cut like that, then you need these bits. You need to cut them down straight. Straight there. And straight there just so these bits are all off we'll cut this one first then we'll get in and cut that one Right, so it does say once you've removed the tie bars, be very careful because with no tie bar in it, the door can actually come and hit your lights. So be extra careful when you're moving in the door. Moving in when you're moving the door because it's not got the tie bar in it, so the hinge will go wherever it wants. Once the bracket is on and in place, then that ties it all back together again. You won't get the full range of movement with the door, but the door then won't hit your hinge. So, let's get it up there and bolt it on. Right, so the kit does come with these bolts. These go through the front and then bolt them in the back, in there. So, you just gotta lift it up. One person, not gonna work, is it? I need a helper. Once you've got yourself a helper, preferably a James or an Emma, be extra careful when you're moving the door cause there's no braces in the hinges. So what James is gonna do, he's gonna hold the rail up to here and to the bottom one then we're going to take a bolt right so we've got our bolts in the top and we've got our bolts in the bottom what we're going to do now is we're just going to take them all up from the front and the back and then we'll show you how the door works right now what happens is when you tighten these bolts up what that does is it brings the door and this in line so that's all you're going to get with your door you don't want to go in any further as you can see your door will now shut perfectly. You can swing it wide open, but don't forget, you're going to have a wheel on the other side. Personally, I'd only have your door just come to there. So now your wheel goes on top of that. But before we put that in, take the back panel off, drill through there, and we've got another bolt to fit in there as well.
Right, so now with the door skin off, we can get a drill through, put a bolt through it, and secure it from the inside as well. It's all lined up, you can't get really go wrong. The hole is there, piece of cut, so. And then of course your battery's gonna run out, so little helper. Right, as you can see, the bolt in there, all nice and tight. Bracket is now on, bolted in place there, bolted in place at the bottom, and bolted in place at the top. That is now fully secure. Now with this on, your hinges aren't gonna hit the light when you open the door. But like I said, I personally would only open the door to there because you're gonna have a wheel on here and your door is not gonna go all the way back to meet the side skin. It's one of the downfalls of having a system like this in place, but to be honest with you, it's better than having the wheel in the garage underneath where our wheel should go. We've got the gas tank, so that's really only the option. Your wheel goes on with the inner bit facing inwards and then we'll just bolt through there. They've been tapped so you can get bolts in there to keep your wheel on. I do recommend getting yourself a lock and wheel nut as well, just so no one can mess around with your back wheel. Let's get the door skin on and then put the wheel on the back. Right, so when you've done it, your wheels, well, it's not going to sit exactly like that. You're going to bolt this to the actual thing that's there, in place, right there. But don't forget, you need six bolts. But that's how you fit one of the Williams wheel bracket things. And I kind of like it. This isn't a tutorial video, by the way. This is just how I've done it. I'm just explaining to you. So, you know, go on the website. I'll leave a link in the description below. If you do buy one, make sure you paint it. Then make sure you check the details in case you've got one of them hinges that your door goes all the way around. Because like you've just seen, you need to cut it in certain places. Make sure, double check. Make sure you know what you're doing. Make sure you're capable of doing what you're doing. Make sure you're happy doing it. If not, let's get some other suckers to do it. We're not professionals. We're just family. Well, he mightn't be a professional, but I myself... A professional idiot. I'm a prof... Subscribe, <laughs> turn on your bell notifications. And, and like uh, the video. Like the video. Give us a thumbs up. And, um. If anyone wants a rather large child, I'm not for sale. If you leave two likes, you get them for free. See ya.